All right, welcome back. In this lecture, we will discuss data. Here is our lesson objective. All right, so types of data analysis. So first is descriptive. So with descriptive data analysis, we want to simply provide some insight or knowledge of a set of data. And this is generally falls in the realm of unsupervised machine learning approaches. There is predictive, so making a prediction based on the data. And this, you know, uh, falls in the realm of supervised machine learning approaches. And then finally, prescriptive, which is making decisions based on the data. So in general, this tends to fall in other areas of AI, especially things like game theory and AI planning. However, there is one area of machine learning and we'll talk about this in a later lecture called reinforcement learning that is used to uh, make decisions based on data. So now let's talk about the different types of values data can have. So this is going to be really focused on tabular data, which is what you're going to generally use for feature-based approaches. And you're going to have really two big categories. You're going to have quantitative, which is numerical information, and you're going to have categorical, which the information aligns with a set of categories. Now, one thing you can do, and this may be necessary from time to time, is to bucket quantitative data creating categorical data. So uh, easy one to think about this with is age. You can take someone's age and you could say, are they under 18, between 18 and 35, 36 to 65, et cetera. And we see this done all the time, especially in things like uh, consumer applications. So with categorical, we can break that down further into nominal, which there's no ordering. So these are things like you know, male or female, or the species of flower you're looking at. And there's ordinal where there's an ordering. So that example from the previous slide where we took age and we changed it into a categorical uh, type of data, there actually is an ordering associated with it, you know, below 18, 18 to 25, et cetera. Now with quantitative, um, the obvious two are continuous and discrete. So with continuous, you, have, you allow for fractions and decimals. With discrete, it's only the natural numbers. So this concludes our lecture on data. Please stay tuned.